In the future, will you draw a salary just for being you? Here at Forward Thinking, we've taken a look at some pretty disruptive technologies like 3D printing, artificial intelligence, automation. All of these have the potential to revolutionize our world, but revolutions aren't always smooth and painless. One of the big questions we have to answer is, how will we make money in a future where more and more of our jobs are taken over by the cold, unfeeling robotic hands of automated machinery? In a previous episode of Forward Thinking, we talked about a future where there is no such thing as money. It was the Star Trek economy. But if we're to get there, there's going to be some major changes that'll have to happen. And between now and then, one of those changes might be a guaranteed basic income. Now, the concept is pretty simple. A government will guarantee a certain amount of money to every eligible citizen. And generally speaking, it tends to be the amount of money that's around the poverty line for that country. The idea being that all of your basic needs, like shelter, food, clothing, would be met by this basic amount of money, and anything else you would want, you would have to go out and earn. This could be a huge help to people who are living below the poverty line. I think you can imagine that if you're homeless, it's very hard for you to get back on your feet if you don't know where you're going to be spending the night tonight. Imagine having just enough money so that you can cover those basic needs. That could give you the ability to go out and seek more work. And in fact, studies have bared this out. A study out of MIT and Harvard showed that giving money to people in impoverished nations in no way discouraged them from seeking out more work. So the fear that this would somehow create an entire population of lazy people seems to be unfounded. Other studies have shown that giving people money instead of money substitutes like food vouchers gives those people a sense of dignity and empowerment. So they do continue to try and seek out jobs or more education. And it frees you up to pursue other things like passion projects. In fact, a lot of technology enthusiasts envision a world with a guaranteed basic income that leads to an era of unprecedented innovation. But we have some big questions. The biggest being, will it work? Another being, how do you pay for it? How do you administer it? How do you make sure that the eligible people are actually getting the money they need? And the answer is, we don't know because we haven't really tested it out yet. But in the next year or so, several different regions are going to be launching pilot programs to explore the possibility of basic income. They include Canada, Finland, Switzerland is having a referendum on the subject, and a nonprofit organization is looking to provide 6,000 Kenyans with basic income for between 10 and 15 years. This could be a long-term experiment to see what the ultimate impact is. And we have to keep in mind that even if basic income works in these pilot programs, it might not work everywhere. But we'll never know until we try. And the truth of the matter is, we still have to think about this question because, like it or not, one day automation is really going to displace a lot of people from the job market. So that leads me to a question for you guys this week. How would you address the problem of poverty in the future? I want to hear your most forward-thinking ideas in the comments below. Thanks to Toyota for sponsoring the show and making it possible. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that little like button and join the forward-thinking think tank by subscribing to the channel. And after all that hard work, take a break. Enjoy one of these videos over here.